Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a lazy boy, kind of crazy boy. So today we're going to try mid journey problems. We're going to check them out and then I'm going to try them in stable diffusion with almost no changes using the ref animated model because it's just mwah. Let's get started here. Ref animated is mostly good for portraits, also for landscapes. So these are the types of images we are testing today. Also check out my video chat GPT batch render in automatic 1111 and my upscale trick to get the maximum out of this model. So here we have mid journey. Let's start with this because that looks really amazing. I want to see what this gets us down here. We have the prompt. A woman with long red hair and a fishy hat in the style of mesmerizing optical illusions, photorealistic scene, airbrush art, National Geographic photo, orange, organic and flowing forms, infinity nets. I'm not quite sure what infinity nets are, but we're going to try that over in our stable diffusion automatic 1111. So here I have the prompt. I'm using the same prompt as yesterday. This is good for mainly characters, but it also works for landscapes. Then this time I've set up my sampler for DPM plus plus two S a Keras. I'm using 20 sample steps. I'm using a CFG scale of seven. So let's hit our good old generate button. Wow. Okay. So here we have the output. Amazing with the flowing hair and the pose and everything. Really love this. These are enhanced with my upscaling method. So check that out. Pretty important to get this kind of quality. Wow. I really like it. Now let's go on here to the next one. And I want to try this girl here in the park because that is anime style. It looks pretty cool. I want to see what we get. So first of all, let's check out the prompt here. A cute little girl is enjoying the spring greenery in the park. Children's, children's in that case, picture book illustration, Nordic style, bright and colorful colors, lovely narrative, rich and colorful content, high definition 8K. Let's copy this over and see what we get. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> wow. That is a super cute picture. I really like that. Wow. Let's try another one. Man, this works really well. I really enjoy these results. Look at how cute that is. That is amazing. I love the lighting and the cute quality. This is really amazing. Okay, let's go for landscape style here. For example, this one here with the galaxy in the background, the guy here in the foreground that might turn out pretty cool with ref animated. So here we have our prompt mid journey style of detailed and intricate background theme, character art, anime, cartoon style, 2D morning vibe with cloud, aurora lighting, nebula and stars, stunning environment, galaxy, purple and blue mood. Sounds pretty cool. Let's copy this over. Now here, I want to show you a little trick because I tried this before and I split the image in the middle. So what we want to do here is we set this to high res fix, but now I'm setting the denoise strength to about 0.2 and I will set the upscale to one. Yes, you can do that. So this means it doesn't take a long time. It's the same image size, but you don't get the upscale error. So this is fixing it still. Let's click here and generate. And look at that really cool image that we are getting from that. I really love that. Let's try a second one. Oh my. And here we even have the galaxy in the background. We have a very nice reflection. So this is kind of a, like an infinity pool kind of thing here going on. Wow. I really enjoy that. Okay. Let's see what else we can get out of mid journey prompts. You see how cool it is to experiment with this. So down here, I found this Victorian woman here on the train station. Let's have a look at the prompt first, of course. Surrealist 1800s Victorian steampunk London glamour, gorgeous detailed eyes by Aaron Hansen, J.C. Leidendecker, Donato Giancola, Charles Vess, Frank Fonsetta, Rich Vivid Color. So this is using a lot of artist names, but because they are blended together, I still feel like that is okay. Now, this doesn't say much about a woman at a train station, so I will add that to the prompt. So at the beginning of the prompt, I'm writing portrait of a woman at the train station. We are going to turn off high res fix again, and I've got a feeling that this is turning out really well. Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at that detail. Look at that picture. That is really amazing. I actually want to see another one of those. Wow. I feel like the second one turned out even better. Look at the detail in the clothing. Look at how amazing that is in the, the train station, the background with the other people there. That is really cool. Wow. Next, I want to try this portrait here with the flowers around it. Again, let's check out the prompt first. We have this is a scene in the style of Jeremiah Kent, tropical landscape, Xiao Fai Yue, sparkling water reflections, organic contours, Mi Va Komatsu, high resolution. Again, a lot of artists name in here. It doesn't say anything about portrait of a woman, so I'm going to add that to the start. Portrait of a woman surrounded by flowers. Let's see what we get from this. That is actually pretty awesome. I really like that. It's not anywhere near the original, so we could add some more colors. Let's try that actually. So I write colors of pink, violet, red, and yellow. And as a result, we're getting an image like this. So let's see what else we can do here. And I found this skeleton warrior over here that looks pretty cool. It reminds me a little bit of my World of Warcraft time. So let's have a look here. An angry skeleton holding a sword in the style of dark cyan and light crimson. Spatial concept art, Ahmed Morris, Sergei Mosin, spiritual figure, strong contrast between light and dark, heavy inking. All right, let's check this out. And there we go. It's actually not too bad. Now, it doesn't have the colors in there with the red glowing sword, but that wasn't also in the prompt. So I would say the result here is still pretty amazing. Next, I want to try this abstract landscape here because it looks really cool. The prompt here is shattered topographic radio wave landscape fused with geostrata architecture, geometric sun glitch, Japanese fusion, sun bleach, 1970s photographic, Yoshitaka Amano, stratal incision, chaotic nature, undulation, metrological coding, graphs, Stanley Downwood, stim wave. I'm removing here the 8 from the prompt because that might be interpreted as a weight. And then at the end of the prompt, I'm adding style of dark blue and sepia. And this actually gave me some really cool, very abstract results. So I highly suggest that you try out that prompt in Automatic 1111. Now, this is also showing a classic stable diffusion glitch where we have something on the left side and then a different thing on the right side. So here in this case, you can see it's just the brightness. But in other cases, you can also see that the split gives us a different pattern, for example, down here for the waves on the left side, on the right side. But still, I find that this is very cool as an artistic expression. And for the last prompt, I want to try this image here. So the prompt is a white tiger in a business suit in the style of an anime core mashup of styles, dark white and blue manga inspired dark white and light red masculine bronze punk 8K. So over in Stable Fusion, I'm going to have two round brackets and then write white tiger humanoid. And as a result, we get this pretty cool, very buff tiger here. It doesn't have a business suit. It's more of an armor, sci-fi armor, but it's still very cool. That's it for today, my friends. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.